impeach Obama now. Stop him before he kills this country. That's my opinion. Get out the bumper stickers, put them on your cars, and get the liberals riled up. Get in their faces, scream in their faces. Don't take their garbage because you're losing this country. In less than three weeks, he's passed five or six executive orders. He's made nice to killers at Gitmo. He's granted them rights they're not, they're not entitled to. Now today he slaps us in the face with a children's health care bill. Who is going to pay for it? It doesn't matter. His uncle, Fidel, has a children's health care provision. So the nephew, Obama, wants a children's health care provision. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? This is a naked Marxist. I don't care whether you read it in your newspaper. I don't care whether you see it on the nightly news. It is what it is. If it walks like a Marxist, if it talks like a Marxist, if it governs like a Marxist, it is a Marxist. This man is a Marxist revolutionary. We try to warn you. We try to tell you that as the most liberal senator in American history, when he became president, he would even govern further to the left. Were we right or were we wrong? You know we are right. And this is just the beginning. This is in less than two weeks the man has tried to revolutionize virtually everything in this country. And this is within two and a half weeks. Can you imagine four years of this man and what's going to be this, what this country will be like? Chicago, Lee, go ahead, please. Dr. Savage, I am furious. I'm 26 years old. I've prolonged having kids because I can't afford them. And then Barack Obama gets on television today and tells me that I should be paying for other people's children. It's disgusting. Well, that's what I was trying to tell the idealist from Chicago who's glad that we're giving illegal alien children health care. He says it's a moral imperative. And as I told him, I had to uh, do without things that I wanted, certain luxuries when my kids were young, to buy them clothing and health care and put money away for their college education. And I did so. That's, I mean, I had children. That was the obligation. That was a social contract. That's how the world works. It doesn't say Big Brother's going to give them clothing, education, and health care. And on top of it, he had the nerve to say that kids want uh, their parents to, to take care of them and feel like they're taken care of. And then he goes on and continues it by saying that it's the next step to move towards total uh, socialization. So what, are we all children of Barack Obama now? Impeach Obama now. Impeach Obama now. Impeach Obama now. Stop him before he destroys our way of life. That's the bumper sticker. Print it up and send it around the world. 1-800-449-8255. Phone number, michaelsavage.com, website. West Virginia, John, go ahead, please. Uh, Dr. Savage, I'm, I'm part of the impeach Nancy Pelosi crowd right now, and I'm going to impeach Obama crowd. I feel that Nancy Pelosi is going to ruin this country. I'm scared. I'm scared of what they're going to do to us. Well, Nancy Pelosi is either a mad woman or a dictator, and either one doesn't work for me as Speaker of the House. No, sir, not at all. I actually went to a website called Nancy Pelosi. And this well, no, I don't think a petition is the, is the way to go. I think that bumper stickers are the way to go. You'll cause hatred on the roads. You'll cause screaming arguments across America. We need to get a million impeach Obama bumper stickers up across this country in the next few weeks. The man has to be stopped right now. A message must be sent to this social revolutionary that we're not going to take this. We're going to fight him tooth and nail. we got to stop him before he gets total power. Look, I saw how Chavez came to power in his country and how he slowly but surely took control of all reins of government and then all reins of the private sector. He closed down opposition television stations. He closed down opposition media uh, outlets. And now he's an absolute dictator of his own country. Obama must be stopped right now. Thanks for the call. Uh, the phone number here is 1-800-449-8255. MichaelSavage.com is the website. San Francisco, Tom, you're on the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Yeah, hey, uh, Mike, a big fan. And I am completely outraged on the fact that Obama and Nancy are uh, talking about this health care uh, issue for illegal aliens. But I'm so upset. I'm just trying to look for some good news. And the good news that I kind of see in that upsetting piece of information is the simple fact that if they're going to spend $38 billion, does that turn into hiring more doctors? No, more no, absolutely not. No, not at all. It means that more and better health care will be provided to illegal alien children. So that if they come into a, um, an emergency room now, 
which I've seen over and over again, five, six, seven family members sitting in behind the curtain next to me. The child has a running nose. They're in there for a doctor, a nurse, their latest of equipment. I don't know, must cost three, four thousand dollars to treat a running nose because there's no cost control. You see, to the illegal alien, they're living in paradise. And the paradise is run by morons who give them everything they want and then more. But that's just the beginning. Who knows what the new spending will, will allow them? I don't know what they're going to get for it. They're not going to hire any new doctors. There's not going to be any money uh, extended to doctors. There's no new jobs from this. Gotcha. Well, you know, In I... other words, more health care does not mean more jobs. More health care means money going into the pockets, perhaps, of uh, hospitals and perhaps into the hands of uh, HMOs. I don't think the money's going to go into the hands of a whole flock of new doctors. But, but that $38 billion has got to be spent somewhere, and you're just You see the – well, yeah, sure, but that's number one. that has to be spent somewhere, but who's paying for it is the real question. Why should I have to pay for children that I don't know, that I don't have any obligation to pay for, when they are not even citizens? Their families didn't even have the decency to apply to wait on line the way my grandfather did. They jumped the line. They pushed other people out of the way. They got on the bus and threw the door shut. And then they said, now that we're here, we're going to own your politicians, and we're going to get every benefit while the other people are left out in the rain. No, I don't like this at all, and I'm not accepting it just because Marxist revolutionaries think that I need a Cuban-style health care system. I want to remind you that one of the first things that, that Fidel Castro did and one of the things he promised immediately within the first day of seizing power was universal health care, universal health care, universal health care. And in fact, uh, Fidel Castro did give universal health care to the Cuban people. But it is amongst the worst health care the world has ever seen. The rich of Cuba fly elsewhere for health care. They go to Florida under aliases. They go to Spain. They do not let a Cuban doctor touch them. They are horrible doctors, horrible clinics, and horrible everything in that health care system. But it is universal health care. That's what Obama is trying to achieve here. That's why we are against socialized medicine, because there is a finite amount of money in the system. There's a finite amount of money for everything. We cannot afford to give everybody on the planet everything they may wish. So there it is. There it is. Obama says that the executive pay limits for bailout companies should be $500,000 per executive. He said they should not be rewarded for failure. Now that's very appealing, and it makes sense up to a point. So he says that the executives of these bailed out companies should not be rewarded for failure. Now, let's notice uh, Obama, the magnificence words. They shouldn't be rewarded for failure. Is he telling me, though, that we should reward illegal aliens for failure? The failure to be legal? The failure to not have too many children? The failure to not have the money to provide for their children? The failure to be decent enough to go home to their home country and get the health care that their children need? How about rewarding illegal aliens for their failure, Mr. Obama? Impeach Obama now. I'll be back. You better get yourself an Impeach Obama bumper bumper sticker from somewhere. And I'm not selling them. I don't have them. I don't care who makes them. Start putting them on your cars. You better get the word out. You better start the movement now. It better snowball real fast. And this character better be stopped real fast because he's out of control. As far as I am concerned, Obama is an egomaniac, a narcissist, and he has no idea that 47 million Americans said no to his concept of change. They said no to George Bush. They said no to that old hack, John McCain. But they didn't say yes to Fidel Castro. They did not say yes to Karl Marx. They did not say yes to Fyodor Lenin. They did not say yes to Trotsky. They did not say that change meant Trotsky, Lenin, and Marx. They meant that they didn't want that bumbling fool George Bush. That's all it meant, Obama. It didn't mean that we wanted a communist revolution in this country. And that's why I say, ladies and gentlemen, if you think about it, look at what this man has tried to do in, in only two short weeks. He closed down Gitmo, but he doesn't know where to send the murderers and the terrorists he granted the murderers and terrorists constitutional rights that they are not entitled to shall i go down the list of the five executive orders that he passed that have been swept under the rug by the empty skirts and the empty suits in the media shall i then tell you that the so-called stimulus bill is about 90 to 91 percent 
liberal pork barrel spending that has nothing to do with job creation. It is simply a liberal wish list.